Yo. 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 It's dead in this town. You know? It's crazy. Gotta shake things up. Yeah, house. I gotta do something. Yo. So, For real. Uh, Let's go. Target, Walgreens, um, Walmart, any drugstore. Uh, I've tried the expensive things at Macy's and Nordstrom's, and it does the same thing, and you're just wasting your money. So these are my products. I'm gonna start off with the Neutrogena uh, Oil-Free Acne Wash. I wash, wash, wash. Then, depending on what I'm in the mood for, I either do St. Ives. I love this, it's very cheap, but it works. It's very abrasive, so you might not do this, but only once a week, maybe once every two weeks. It's very uh, abrasive. Um, but every week I'll do this um, clarifying mud mask. Shea uh, has shea butter in it. It's African black soap. Get that. Then I will um, either put a rose water sheet mask on once a week. Uh, but for daily, I'll go into um, my toner. I use a beta. I do upgrade on my toner. I bring this everywhere I go and I just get a nice rose mist. I love this. And then I use their um, hydrating lotion uh, as well. That's the final product that I have. For you mature man, I take it to a step further. I use oil Olay. I use the um, Po Retinol Eye Treatment and also the Eye Lifting uh, Serum. And then this came for free. I haven't tried it, but I'm gonna try it next. It's the Age Repair Lotion with uh, Sunscreen. But I normally just use my um, Aveda there. And for my beard, I use a um, conditioner. It's a beard balm, leave-in. Kind of soften up my beard. It's also important if you have a shaved head that you also exfoliate and scrub your head um, to keep that skin uh, from flaking and getting dry. Especially when you work in the airline industry, you're so dry up in the air, so any kind of moisturizer that you can get on your face is very helpful. And those men of color, I also have what we call a uh, tin skin. I don't know if you heard that. I think women use this for their bikini wax, but I use it for uh, razor bumps. I put like a little bit on a little pad and I take care of my little razor bumps. Um, I get a lot of ingrown hairs. That's why I like to keep a beard most of the time because I don't have to worry about uh, shaving. Sidebar, nothing to do with my face, but if you're looking for a good body wash, Dove uh, Go Fresh Pear and Aloe Vera Scent Body Wash is to die for. This is my luxury. Um, it bubbles pretty well, smells good, it leaves your skin smooth and fresh, um, but it's a sidebar. When I put on my face wash, I use this little roller tree thing here, and I just kind of do that. We also have two speeds. So with the face wash, I first wet my face in my beard, neck area. Do a couple of squirts of the Neutrogena Acne Wash. And I make sure I scrub. You want to do this day and night. You get a lot of dirt from the elements out there, especially on dirty aircraft. I'm gonna make sure that's really on there. Get the under neck. And then I rinse. Make sure you get all the soap off. You pat dry. So on the mask, I get like a quarter size of the clay. Again, I'm using the um, clarifying mud mask. And I, I'm very generous with this. I want to make sure I see in the mirror that I do it, but I start off with the forehead, staying away from the eye area. Maybe a little more. Get my nose. Get my ball head, get my neck area. I 
Okay, maybe a little more. Yeah, that's much better. Y'all really getting the behind the scenes of my life as a flight attendant. So after exfoliating with the mask, sometimes I put on the rose water sheet mask, but today I'm just gonna use the uh, lead mask uh, instead of both of them. I did it a couple of days ago. Next, I move on to my Aveda, my uh, Skin Tony Agent. It has rose petal oils or something in it. I just give it a couple squirts. Let it sit in a little bit. I kind of pat it to make sure it's in there. And while it's wet, I take some um, of the Aveda Hydrating Lotion, a couple squirts of that, which also has SPF 30 in it. And I just put excessive moisturizer. I do have oily skin. A lot of myth is that when you have oily skin, you don't need lotion, but you actually need it more. It's giving you oil because you're not moisturizing enough. There, I try to get my bald head. For us old folks, I'll be putting on the um, Pro Retinol Eye Treatment by my uh, Crow's Feet, as well as my Eye Lift and Serum. Just a small little amount that I put right in there. I've been using this probably about two weeks now and I've already noticed a difference, especially under my eye. This is the lifting eye serum. Y'all see that pimple? I don't know where that come from. I'm OCD and over it. I wanna pop it so bad, but do not pop your pimples on your face. I did it right here and I'm still paying for it. I do have a little retinol that I actually put on here that helps me with the uh, discoloration of that pimple I popped. So definitely let the pimple do its course there. Last but not least, I put my tin skin for razor bumps from shaving underneath my beard. I do the full face if I'm not having a beard, but I have a beard, so I'm just gonna kind of do that right here. And y'all know I wash my face thoroughly, right? you still get like dirt. So I love this kind of thing here. And I kind of get my little nose right there and I try to go over my little pimples, make sure that I get all the dirt out of there. Ooh. And again, for my beard, I use a pomade. You can get it at any drugstore. You can tell I'm almost out of it and I just, Take a piece size, rub it in my palm really fast to heat it up. And apply. And that's it. So yeah, I do have a couple of more steps than most mortals, but that's why it looks so good. <laughs> Kidding. See how easy that was, men? Um, you don't have to go to the extreme that I do. But make sure you do the four simple steps of uh, doing a face wash and then once a week doing an exfoliation or a mask, um, a nice toner, and then a moisturizer that has SPF 30. And if you're over a 30, it's always a good idea to start using some eye cream to get rid of those crow's nests there. Um, but that's it. That's why I look so fabulous when I'm in my uniform. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Skyboy SF. Hit it, hit it, hit it right now. And hit the alert button to know when my next video is. This was vlog number seven. See you tomorrow. Peace.